Hello everyone, welcome to Tubwes 730. We give information about AI's latest technological news. Please stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come, let us connect to the video and start exploring. Oceans cover the majority of the planet, however they are regrettably quite polluted. One tactic to deal with the mountains of trash present in these extremely fragile environments, particularly around coral reefs, is to use robots to handle the cleanup. Existing underwater robots, however, are typically large and stiff in construction, unable to explore and collect data in complicated and chaotic situations, and noisy due to electrical motors or hydraulic pumps. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart sought design inspiration from nature to create a more appropriate model. They created a hand-sized, adaptable, energy-efficient, practically noiseless robot that was inspired by jellyfish. The physical intelligence and robotic materials groups of the Institute worked together to create JellyfishBot. In Science Advances, the article, A Versatile Jellyfish-Like Robotic Platform for Effective Underwater Propulsion and Manipulation, was published. The team employed electrically powered electrohydraulic actuators to construct the robot. The actuators act as the robot's artificial muscles. Air cushions, soft, and rigid parts that stabilize the robot and keep it watertight surround these muscles. This prevents the high voltage passing through the actuators from coming into contact with the nearby water. The muscles regularly contract and expand as a power source periodically sends electricity through fine wires. As a result, the robot can swim beautifully and produce swirls beneath its body. A jellyfish that is swimming upwards can trap items in the currents that it forms around its body. It can also accumulate nutrients in this manner. The water is recirculated around our robot as well. This feature is helpful for gathering items like trash particles. In order to recycle the trash, it can then be brought to the surface. Additionally, it has the capacity to gather delicate biological materials like fish eggs. The environment is not being negatively affected in the interim. Tianlu Wang argues that interactions with water creatures are calm and almost noiseless. He is the paper's first author and a postdoc in Institute's Physical Intelligence Division. Haiyang Jun Ju, his co-author from the Robotic Materials Department, explains, it is believed that 70% of marine litter sinks to the seafloor. More than 60% of this litter is made of plastic, which takes hundreds of years to disintegrate. We therefore recognize the urgent necessity to create a robot that can handle and transfer items, like trash, upward. One day, we hope, underwater robots will help to clean up our oceans. Without making direct touch, jellyfish bots may move and ensnare items. They can work alone or in groups to do this. Each robot operates more quickly than prior creations of a similar kind, with a top speed of 6.1 cm per second. In addition, jellyfish bot only needs a minimal input power of about 100 mW. Should the polymer material insulating the robot ever be broken apart, people and fish are unaffected. The robot's sounds can't be separated from the ambient noise in the meanwhile. Jellyfishbot behaves similarly to its real-life equivalent by delicately interacting with its surroundings without upsetting it. The robot is made up of several layers, some of which harden it while others help to keep it buoyant or warm. An additional polymer layer serves as a floating skin. The center of the several layers contains hazels, artificial muscles that are powered by electricity. Hazels are electrode partially covered plastic pouches filled with liquid dielectric. A strong voltage is applied across an electrode, charging it positively while negatively charging the water around it. As a result, a force is created between the positively charged electrode and the negatively charged water, pushing the oil inside the pouches back and forth and causing them to contract and relax like real muscles. The charged electrodes create significant electrical stresses that hazels can withstand while also being water-resistant thanks to an insulating coating. This is significant since no underwater robot has ever been constructed using hazel muscles. The initial stage was to create the jellyfish bot, which has six arms or fingers and one electrode. 
The researchers divided the single electrode into distinct groups in the subsequent stage so that each could be individually actuated. We made two of the arms into grippers and four of the arms into propellers in order to grasp stuff. Or, to maneuver the robot in different directions, we only activated a portion of the arms. We also considered how to manage a group of several robots. For instance, we gave two robots the task of picking up a mask, which is incredibly challenging for one robot to do on its own. Heavy loads can also be carried by two robots working together. Our jellyfish bot now need a wire, though. If we actually want to use it in the ocean someday, this is a disadvantage, says Haiyang Junju. Perhaps wires used to power robots will soon be obsolete. Our goal is to create wireless robots. Fortunately, we have already taken the first step in that direction. To enable future wireless manipulation, we have integrated all the functional elements, including the battery and wireless communication components, says Tian Luang. At the top of the robot, the team fastened a buoyancy unit, and at the bottom, a battery and microprocessor. They later tried out their innovation by guiding it through the campus pond at the Max Planck Institute in Stuttgart. Please do like, comment and subscribe.